Hey, what's up, y'all? This is another video just basically going over the reactions to the schedule that just came out yesterday evening at 8 p.m. Uh, while also talking about how more improved the Eagles can be uh, compared to last year based on the factors that I'm about to name, including the schedule. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, man. Like, when I first looked at the schedule, uh, I was kind of, uh, like, a little bit flexed because because man I'm like it's a very tough schedule now mind you not we're playing teams like uh the like the Niners who just went to the Super Bowl we, we played the Ravens like a very good team last year Browns who may or may not be good this year but you know I just gotta just count them in there uh the Seahawks the Packers and the Saints you know this is gonna be a real test um like for Carson uh, and the rest of the uh, Eagle squad. Um, this is going to be a test of the culmination of moves we made in free agency offseason and the draft. Okay, so like starting off first, uh, we start on the road versus the Redskins. Okay, now there are some sides of this because they have the second best coach in our division right now. Um, with uh riverboat run but the redskins just like they didn't do enough for me to make me believe our chances of like our slim at winning so i take us going one and oh uh on the road starting off and fun fact the uh like the year the eagles went to super bowl like the year started off on the road in washington so uh moving on uh to the rams at home uh well, we kind of have our number, like, against the Rams, man. Like, we beat them at home, and we beat them on the road. So, um, and they also didn't do enough. Now, mind you, this is a quick disclaimer. I have not kept up with any of the offseason moves for most of these teams I'm about to go through right here, okay? So, the Rams, I got us going 2-0 and against the Rams. Um, like, they just don't have enough for me. Um, but, of course... Can't count it out there, but still 2-0. Bengals, uh, as we all know, rookie quarterbacks uh, don't do very well their first year. Um, so, and they have, like, Joe, like Joe Burrow, who's, I, I don't know. Uh, that's another pain for the time, but a 3-0 gets the Bengals, okay? And then we go on the road uh, for two straight games. The first game on the road is going to be against the 49ers. Um, now I think that this is going to be one of our, one of our toughest games this year, uh, just because it's the 49ers, they still have the same group of defensive personnel. They didn't change most of the offense. And then they drafted another receiver, uh, who's also said to be pretty good. Uh, uh, Brandon Ayuk. So they're pretty loaded right now. Uh, I think this could be a game that goes down to the wire. Um, however, and y'all might be mad at me about this, but I got us losing to the 49ers. Uh, so our our first four games were three and one. Not bad. Not bad at all. You still have a 75% winning percentage, and you more than likely are going to be like the top of the NFC East. Now, and then we go on the road to Pittsburgh, which I feel like is going to be a very highly touted game, a personal fan favorite. Uh, I am hope I'm able to go there. If I am, I will definitely, like, like let you guys know first. So if I see you guys, shake your hand, whatever, talk about Eagle stuff, drink, you know, you know, like drink a few brews, what have you. Um, so, uh, and... Eagles fans travel well to Pittsburgh. So, um, I got us winning in Pittsburgh uh, because I'm not really afraid of of Ben Roethlisberger at this point in his career. Uh, and then I also just, well, he confirmed it yesterday uh, when Jay Glazer teased his offseason workout routine, uh, saying that he doesn't really work out like that because he's, because he's focused on golf. So... Uh, I guess you could say he's into that Tom Brady uh, pliability, flexibility, whatever. No heavyweights, whatever. So I I have us winning in Pittsburgh, 
Um, and then and then we go home to play the Ravens, which is gonna be another highly touted game. I guess we're just playing the AFC North teams this year. Um, I have us winning against the Ravens just because um, uh, we're good at stopping the run, which is something the Ravens were known for last year. Um, and I just don't feel like they will have the weapons on the receiving end to really go against us. I mean, I mean they have Marquise Hollywood Brown, but I feel like Darius Slay uh, can do like really well with him. Um, I think our secondary is up to the challenge of covering uh, the Ravens' pass attack and us just slowing down that run with Mark Ingram uh, and the likes of Lamar Jackson, who's a mobile quarterback. Okay, and then we go to the Giants at home. I think that's a dub right there. Um, I think at that point the Giants will be defeated. Um, probably like one and five at that point. And then we go and then we play the Cowboys at home. Um, I got us winning that. I just... Like the Cowboys, they pretty much fucked themselves, man, because... They won't know how to use CD. They don't know who their quarterback's going to be, had of Andy or Dak. Um, they pretty much drained their defense of all their youth uh, and signed nothing but old players. Uh, they got rid of their best corner, and then they signed Ha Ha Clint Dix. And they're saying that this is going to be a good pick. Well, I mean, like a good signing, but I don't think so. Um, bounce around too many teams for a reason. All right, so I got us going six and one in there, and then we go on a bye, and then we come back, and then we play the Giants on the road. I think that's another win. Um, and then we go on another road game to Cleveland to play the Browns. Uh, hmm. Now, a lot of us say that Baker Mayfield is buns, but I feel like that was just an outlier year. Um, I think that this game will be better than what we anticipated. I got us losing to the Browns. So that puts us at... Da, 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 da. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I got us being eight and two at this point. Still not bad. Still not bad. You're still a lot like for the first seed. Uh, first, second seed in the NFC. All right, and then we go come back home to play the Seahawks. Uh, I think this is going to be a great revenge game. Um, however, well, a great revenge game from last year. They beat us in the regular season, and they beat us in the playoffs. So I think we'll come back and dub them. So I think this is, puts us at 9-2. At and two. All right, and then we go on the road again, like to play the Packers. I think we're going to take an L there just because in the Aaron Rodgers era, there's only been one team to beat Aaron Rodgers at home, and that was us last year, and I just don't see us doing it again. I think that was more of, I mean, it was a great victory, but I don't see us doing it again. Uh, so I see us um, at... 10 and 3, like 10 and 3, and then we come back home and like play the Saints. I think this is a, like going to be another good game, like, like it's going to be another good test of our weaponry. Um, I see us going 9 and 3 there with the win, and then, well, I'm sorry, 11 and 3 because it's, again, it's in the cold, and the Saints don't do well outside of that dome. All right, and then we go on the road to Arlington, my city, to play the Dallas Cowboys. All right, um, I think that the Cowboys will be defeated at this point. Um, we still don't know if if Andy or Dax will be in the game, um, and I just see us just whooping their ass. So uh, twelve and three right there. So basically a five a five and zero oh division record so far, and then and then the last game of the year. I see us resting our starters, and Jalen Hurts might be able to get some play in there, uh, and we end up dubbing the Redskins 13-3 um, in Jalen Hurts' like, potential debut. 
So all in all, I got us going 13 and three at minimum 12 and four because we don't know how our game in Cleveland's gonna go. Um, now just to give a quick recap of everything I was talking about because like I feel like I missed points sometimes. So how we got better, start from the quarterback position. Uh, like a lot of what killed us in that playoff game with the Seahawks is because we didn't have a competent backup quarterback. And no shot at, at Josh McCown, but if we would have had a competent backup, we'd win that game. Carson was to come back that next game and, you know, do what he does. So, well, well, he would come back against uh, the Green Bay Packers again in Philly, I believe. I think that's how it worked. I think we'll play in Philly or Green Bay. And I think we... Uh, and I think that comes a slugfest at that point, um, you know. But still, we have our starting quarterback, basically. So, at quarterback, we're pretty much sold up. Running back, we got Miles Sanders, who's going to have a breakout year this year. Boston Scott, still on the roster. And then we're looking to sign another power back. And I think we're a power back away from having a better uh, running attack than we did in our Super Bowl year. And then a wide receiving I think we have a, a track team of receivers this year. Uh, we have a lot of talent, and a lot of our veteran players come back healthy. I, th I think Deshaun Jackson's going to have something to say about uh, missing last year, and people call him a third receiver. Uh, Alshon Jeffrey back by week six. Um, and then, like a lot of our young talent from last year, just dealing with Carson Wentz, I think we're uh, like most improved roster at wide receiver in the NFL. Uh, as well so and then offensive line i think we have the best wide receiving um uh, i'm sorry like best offensive line in our division uh I, I, like as of right now and then defensively we just stepped up so much our pass rush our pass rush looks so much comparable than last year i think we'll actually um like be getting to the quarterback more this year i can see us having a uh, top 10 in sacks this year um and then our linebacking core, uh, I just have so much uh, confidence, Davion Taylor, man. Like, if y'all haven't, like, y'all need to go watch his tape. That man's fast. He's very smart. Uh, knows how to read. Uh, knows, like, just offensive schemes. And he has speed, which is, like, most important. And then our secondary is so much better. Uh, since we got rid of Darby, signed Will Parks. We did well in draft with Kayvon Wallace. Uh... So, and then, um, because defense, like, cost us a couple games last year, notably Miami. It's because if the defense does not give up in a second half against Miami, like, we're looking at a 10-6 and six record. 10-6. and six. If not counting the three drop game-winning passes. So, all in all, we're really looking at 13-3 this year with the schedule that we had last year. So... Uh, tell me what y'all think in the comments, man. Uh, like, y'all think we got 13-3? Like, what are y'all's picks? Uh, just let me know what you think.